the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction and for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, our Lord said in John 6:63, "Until and unless you eat this bread, and until and unless you drink this flesh, the words that I am speaking to you will not benefit." The words which our Lord spoke to them. was pertaining to the ministry of lord get the holy spirit to being born again the flesh which will benefit nothing but the words which i have spoke they are spirit the words which you are going to look upon this they are absolute truth and the declaration that i am going to give to you is absolutely great in this declaration you need to be very much careful in this declaration you need to be like the way which our lord has told to be declaring and when our lord is sending he is sending to us to those men not just declaring but just speaking to them they will absolutely obey god because these are the men chosen by god before the foundation of the world so that in this spiritual house ground of pillar and truth they can come and give their life as a spiritual sacrifices first peter 25 and this spiritual sacrifices against the great witnessing of the cloud of hebrews 12 which gives for us that we persecute and we suffered for godliness or for the truth we need not worry dear brethren the major problem in our christian dom is men are not aware of the doctrine men are looking upon those stupidified substitution which is no way concerned to be true in christ therefore it is of a great importance for us to tell to you again and again that until and unless you really benefit through the ministry of lord get the holy spirit by the confession of your sin after believing in the lord or until and unless you have been born again in the spirit you cannot really live a life that a life which will come only from christ therefore it is of a must the power of god executes the protocol plan of god and god alone is responsible for the achievements that the believer can do in his spiritual advance as he takes if he doesn't understand the simple truth then lord help him out as a donkey which was there which was not been sat by anyone so is our house now of our spiritual sacrifices we need to give to god alone and it is christ who should be formed in us it is christ who will indwell in us and it is christ who shall be glorified in our bodies through this protocol plan of god of spiritual self esteem or spiritual autonomy and then getting back into spiritual maturity but the problem is men do not understand this great truth men in the sense who are out of fellowship men though they are believers do not value the doctrine men to whom this word of the lord has come they are not at all like ring for it so think over this issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our head bowed and eyes closed the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without christ without hope and without eternal life in our ability telling to lord god the father that you believe upon christ that is the moment itself you shall have this eternal truth this eternal truth for us for very simple believing christ you shall be saved Whereas for the believer, the great man it is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possess another truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the great man it is to carry so thorn lagan, herald the word in season and out of season, by the true work of Didasco to teach them, in order to shape their will of understanding to the will of God. And if they could know what is the preparation, they would definitely spend time, spend time, spend time, rather than looking upon the hard speeches of ungodly sinners. So which way you want to go, you decide. we shall come back and continue tomorrow father grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word we pray that lord god the holy spirit lend us on these things and make it so so blessing and talent sovereign lord for we ask it in christ's name father amen